Uh, good all and absolutely welcome back to South Africa and uh, this is South African Prepper. So we haven't made a video in uh, a very long time and the reason for that is, is firstly we've had some technical issues due to the amount of blackouts we've been having in South Africa. So currently we run anything uh, between 6 hours to about 10 hours. So um, when it comes to recording it's a problem and when it comes to doing normal day-to-day -day things, you know, watering the plants uh, in the fields uh, is a major, major, major challenge when it comes to the blackouts in South Africa. Now we've had blackouts since 2007 in South Africa, so we are fairly prepared when it comes to blackouts, but it still stays a challenge because the power that we need to run a center pivot, uh, for an example, to water um, the corn or the wheat, requires quite a lot of power. And unfortunately, these systems you cannot run on solar. <laughs> so, um, the second thing we've been busy with, we've been busy building a community seed bank. So we actually had to, we were under some pressure to get this done. So what we've done is we went to look for a genetically older type of, uh, of seeds and um, we started buying them uh, as, a, as a prepping community and we started packing them and we started sending them to a safe area or safer area. In South Africa where we can actually produce food once everything in South Africa finally collapses. Now South Africa at this stage as we're making this video is uh, staring a few things in the face when it comes to a collapse and, and one is definitely our electricity grid. We do believe that um, the authorities have been lying to us uh, in South Africa, we've got different stages of blackouts. They say um, a blackout stage is a, at a certain level and uh, in reality, it's actually much worse than that. And then the total increase of, of pricing uh, of fuel and food, the average person in South Africa is uh, having a, a big battle trying to keep food on the table because of diesel pricing because of food pricing and what we've noticed over the last especially month is that um, the shortages on the shelves now uh, I always ask where the who is the manager of the store and I always ask them the simple question why is your shelf so empty and uh, they always have a clever answer you know um, stock is stuck at uh, central distribution or we've got the uh, drivers issues or truck issues it's always some kind of a uh, an excuse uh, why the shelves are not full and um, we always go by at the, the same stores so we tend to memorize and remember listen uh, this wasn't here for the last two or four visits so why has they not replenished it so uh, everything is happening in the world it's absolutely chaos uh, Russia Ukraine um, not a good thing it's not going to end and we said this when the russian ukrainian war started is that uh, it's not going to end it's going to continue it's going to escalate and unfortunately uh, for our american viewers uh, your government wants war now if i'm not mistaken uh, since the existence of the united states of america you've had 246 years and out of the 246 years you've only had 17 years where you've had no war or you were not involved in some kind of war. So uh, it seems like the American government for more than 250 years, you've been uh, profiting from war, eh? And it seems like it's not going to end in Russia and Ukraine because somebody's making a hell of a lot of money um, and they're definitely in for it to tank the European economies. So uh, yeah, that is what we've been busy with. We've been busy prepping seeds okay uh, especially your bulk seeds like maize and wheats and soyas uh, because we are prepping for the long haul we are not prepping just to be able to feed our family for six months or two years we are in it for the long run uh, we're preparing for a total collapse 
um, our strategy will definitely be to leave a certain area where we live in and we will definitely relocate and resettle um, with our group of preppers and we will literally start all over again. This is South African Prepper. We will do a bit more videos in the near future. Look out for our new videos and uh, God bless.